Do you think you know fire? All right, go ahead and explain it. Oh wait. Hey Curious Minds, Dave here. In today's video we talk about chemical reactions, why some things burn but other things don't, energy, and why forest fires can burn so out of control. By the end of this video, you'll be an expert on all things fire. But first, let's get started with two words that describe fire, heat and light. But what those really are, forms of energy. And that's where a fire journey begins. Something has energy if it causes change or could cause change. There are many different forms of energy. There's energy due to motion, potential energy due to gravity, chemical energy stored in food, wood, and fossil fuels, and fire gives off energy in the form of heat and light. And that energy is released during a chemical reaction. In a nutshell, a chemical reaction occurs when a couple of substances called reactants break apart, rearrange, and become something new in both looks and properties, which we call products. Oh, yeah. Fire is a chemical reaction, like when the cellulose making up this wood and another reactant like oxygen found in the air combine to make carbon dioxide gas and water vapor, releasing light and heat energy in the process. But if I just need oxygen in a fuel like wood for fire, then why isn't everything burning? Because in this reaction, to get it started, we first need to add heat energy, and then the reaction is self-sustaining, meaning it creates the heat it needs. As long as there is oxygen, heat, and a source of fuel, a fire will continue to burn, sometimes totally out of control. And now everything makes sense, like fire extinguishers. They cool the fire, smother the fuel, and cut out the oxygen by replacing it with carbon dioxide gas. It's ingenious. So you take away one of these three things, and there's no more fire. This is an air-filled balloon. What do you think's gonna happen when I put a flame to it? Whoa! But if I fill up the balloon with water and then I put a flame to it, nothing is happening because the water sucks up all the heat. <laughs> Not allowing the reaction to happen. And this brings us to the question of why some things burn, but other things don't. So let's do a little experimenting. But don't try this at home, I'm a fire professional. Sort of. I gave myself that title. And you guessed it, this rock doesn't burn, because the atoms making it up don't want to react with oxygen. They already did that when they formed as magma, so they're kind of burnt already. And we know the stick will burn, we've already covered that. And water is similar to a rock in that it already has the oxygen it wants, so adding fire to water cuts off its oxygen supply and the reaction will stop. And finally, alcohol, a liquid like water but totally unlike water chemically. It contains a lot of energy and is eager to react with oxygen. And while we're watching this flame, why don't you go ahead and count how many different colors do you see? I see orange, yellow, blue, and violet. And to explain this, let's go ahead and take a look up in space. If you look closely at the stars in the night sky, you start to see they have different colors. Some are red, orange, yellow, blue, even violet. And in science and nature, red is the coolest and violet is the hottest. It's the opposite of art in this case. So a red giant star is fairly cool for stars, similar to the embers of a dying fire. In blue supergiants, they burn hot and fast. And this makes sense because the hotter something is, the more energy it is releasing, and violet is the highest energy wavelength of visible light. And the same is true for fire. Blue fire is hot fire. But honestly, all fire is too hot for me, so I'm gonna stay back no matter what the color. Now to see how much you've learned, I want you to check out this short and see if you can figure out why the flame goes out on that candle. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay curious and see you next time.